She's back, she's at the yard. Um, this video's about what she looks like now. Um, how she is when I've got her. And uh, so that we can sort of, I can sort of look back at it and then see what condition, what state rather, what state she was in. Um, it's a lot of, lot, of, lot of work, a lot more work than what I first, first thought. But um, yeah, like I said, it was reflected in the price. So um, there she is. She's got trim tabs. I've put it. I've put this. Um, there's a group on Facebook that I've joined. Uh, it's Colvick Sea Worker. Well, it's not Colvick Sea Worker. It's a Colvick group, um, and I've put a couple of pictures on there. I've put a couple of pictures and, and to sort of share the video. Share, I'll share these videos on there, which is quite good. If, if you've got a Colvick, then have a join on that group. They're quite a, quite a nice bunch of lads, and they've helped me out quite a bit. Um, the way I'm looking at that is is apparently she's only got a, a short kill. Um, which isn't normal. There's no bilge kills, which isn't normal. Or, or is, these, these are all positives um, because obviously more the bilge kills would 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 cause drag and slow her down. Which I was going to remove them anyway if she had them, but she hasn't got them. But that there is a spray, like a like a spray chime um, that the Mark II's had, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but she's got no skeg on, I think. Uh, some, some some people have been saying that it's quite odd that she's not got that. Um, I might yeah I don't know what I don't know if I am but I might put a stainless steel skeg, a little short one just to protect it a little bit more. Um, the only problem with doing that is when we come to lift it out, as you can see where that strop is, um, you feel where when when you when you lift when you lift them out, you sort of run the strops through and then you feel where the position of the strop is to go. Whereas if I had a skeg. That would where that's fixed there and it's stopped there, that's safe safe lift. But if I was to put a skeg there, just as like a little protector to protect the, the shaft and the propeller, then if I put that strop there and lifted it up, it's just gonna bend it up and cause load of damage and it's gonna So it might be more hassle than it's worth, but yeah, there she is. Um we'll go up and have a look in a minute. I mean look, it's it's, it's quite a bit of rotten rotten wood on her. Um bits missing it's just tiny little things um, like this and just this this is all gonna come this is all this is all gonna come off I don't understand why it's on there um, someone's had a little go a really good go we'll get rid of all that um, I'll just use West system um, with a with a cotton powder and then I'm not worried about varnishing them I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna paint them um, what colour yet? I don't know. I quite like the blue. It was going to go grey um, because I've got some grey paint left over from a job. <laughs> so I was going to use that and put a two-pack on it. But I quite like the blue, so I think I'm going to stick with a blue colour of some sort. That's that's going. That that there is going. I've asked so many people how to pronounce, pronounce it. No one can. Um, I need to make a barrel roller for it because I don't like that. But yeah, she's got rails on her. Um, them rod rests are going, so if anyone wants them, give me a shout. Um, yeah, that engine box is going, taking up more room than me. So I'll, I'll, I'll jump up the side now and have a little look. That is just taking up all the room. That, it doesn't need to be that big. Um, it's so bloody heavy you can't even lift it to, to move it off. So that is, the first job is that's coming off the engine's coming out these these are coming out so that so that I can gain a bit more room not only foot room I know but um, your, your, your total stops there so your feet can go underneath and give you closer get you closer to the to the boat and it just makes the floor space bigger um, I don't know why it's like it but I suppose it's because he, he wanted more storage um, but I don't want that I, I want it I want the deck space as, as big as wide as possible I want to take that back wheelhouse off, but the old man don't. He wants to keep it because he wants to put a heater in there, and uh, so in the winter he can sit there and sit there and uh, watch me fish, basically. But yeah, um, radar arch. Um, the lights all fallen off. I think they come off. That was he was being towed round. It's got a solar panel. Um, 
let's have a look inside. Once the door's open, this this is here, this bit here, this that's a door as well. Um, that slides back so you can walk all the way around. I don't quite know how it does it, but it does. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've inherited quite a lot of um, stuff, shall we say. Um, yeah. I'm going to find a new home for all of this. Um, yeah. I'm going to go find a new home everywhere. Every nook and cranny. Everything. What's in here? What's, it, what's in there? I like that little catch. Look, there's a little nail, nail there. Oh, look. There's a toilet. That's a strange place to put a toilet, isn't it? How am I going to fit my fat ass in there? Never going to fit my fat ass in there. I know that. I suppose you can have a, you can have a poo while you're while you're looking out the window watching your rods. It's quite handy that. Yeah, I can just see myself sitting there, having curling one out, looking out there at my rods. Um, that's going to be moved, obviously, because I want I want to put cooker there. I don't really want to be cooking next to me um, next to me turds. I do. I will keep the. I don't know, well, depending on what condition that's in, but I, I, I like the idea of a chemical loo. There's no um, through hole fittings or nothing like that. I haven't got to worry about them leaking, so I'm probably, if it's any good, I'll keep that. Um, give it a clean up. Or buy another one. Um, but yeah, this is the reason why we're not thinking, why, why he doesn't want to take the back of the wheelhouse off, because this will still be open, and we'd have, unless we put a, a bulkhead in there and, a, and, a, and another door, but... It's just a lot of work. This this does this it does it, it does undo. It, that, that slides that slides back there and I think it makes it so you can walk around. Um we'll have a look at it in a bit. Uh she's got a solar panel on her and it's charging. Battery looks dead though. Um it's got a I don't know what this is. What is it? Oh fish finder. Um an old Navman tracker thing radio. I think that's probably radio is probably the only thing I'll keep off of you. But yeah, like I say, every nook and cranny, every cupboard has got stuff stuff in it. There's trim tabs. Hopefully, get them working. She's got an electric winch. Um, can't quite see it. But she's got an electric winch, and there's the control there for it. Um, so hopefully that'll work. Um, yeah. I could do some new cushions. I'll, go, I'll get new cushions because they've been cut for some reason. That one's been cut. Um, Recarpet this. Paint that. I think that's the least of my worries, to be fair. Yeah. Well, I'm going to show you the engine. Um, and how easy it is to get in the engine box. Um, that's what you have to do to get in the engine. Um, and to store it. It's easy storage for this, you just you do that and you chuck it over the side because that's where it's going. But yeah, there she is. Um, it's coming out. She's coming out. I'm going to take the marinoise kit off of it. The engine turns over, um, it just don't start. I don't know why, I'm not spending any time on it. If anyone wants it. Let me know because it's going to be up for grabs. But I will sell the marinized kit and a gearbox. It's a PRM 500 gearbox. That's worth a few hundred quid. Um, start motor works. So, yeah, if anyone wants it before it goes to the scrap man, let me know. But it will be the bare block because I'll be selling the, selling the marinized kit, get a bit of money back, and a gearbox, bell housing. Um, yeah, so. If you want that engine, bare block, let me know. That's it. You can see, look, that, that engine box didn't need to be... I mean, what, what's, my, what's my foot? My foot's a size 12, with the great big boots on. So that, that's already that far sticking out too much. So I reckon, like, sort of... Well, it's nearly... It's nearly... It's nearly two foot, too long, if you know what I mean. Put a little slant, little slanty bit that goes back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build an aluminium one. Um, definitely gonna do an aluminium one. 
so that it, it makes it lighter. Put some soundproofing in it and everything like that. But yeah, that's just done away so far, and, and that's a stupid place to put a battery. It's not even fixed down. So um, more work. Um, but yeah, so hopefully next time you see that engine, it's going to be on the deck. Well, uh, one thing led to another, and um, yeah, sort of half hour later, this is, this is happening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Um, yeah. She ain't coming back in. Um, that's what I'm left with. I'll show you a quick, quick look, right? Just a quick tidy. We're tidying up all the, all the rubbish that we've acquired. You should see the videos. This is like, this is like literally about an hour later. So there we are off there over there. Um, all that's been cleared out. It's all mildewy and horrible. That's where the toilet was. So I'm not going to be having a poo looking at me rods anymore. That's the toilet's in the bin. The door that wouldn't open because the toilet was screwed to it is now open and working. So it's, it's made it much bigger in here. Huge floor. Floor's rotten where the, that lovely toilet was. So that's all probably um, piss. Yep. Oh, and uh, I started ripping that out. So that's how far I want to take it back. That's how it was. That's how it's going to be. So yeah, it's clearing up to do. Right, it's home time now. Um, rip that side out. Needs a bit of sweep, sweep up. But both of them sides are out now. Um, I'm gonna have to do something here. Do something here. Because you can see the, the chime. I don't know yet, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna have to put some strengthening there's no no frames in there. Um, I don't know if they should have. This one hasn't. It's gonna have. So I'll glass a couple, just maybe two each side, something like that, two or three. Um, glass them in, give her a bit of strength, because at the minute she's she's a little bit wobbly, and the straps are on her as well. So um, yeah, but yeah, not bad. A few hours work. Um, all that down there. Now that both doors open and close. So happy days, yeah, quite happy. It's not big, it's a lot bigger now. I, was, I wish I wish you didn't have to put an engine in it. <laughs> but I thought, yeah. So there she goes. That's what I've done. That's what. That's the process of the uh, process. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about now. Tired. I don't want to go home. But yeah, that's what I want to do. So um, get this deck sorted out. Get that sorted out. Get all that cleaned out of there. It's full of oil and diesel. I'll give it a good Hoover up tomorrow. Lovely job. Alright. Lighters.